right, my friends of the show that never ends, glad you could attend. Come inside. Yes, come inside as we take a look at today's film, which is Mama. Now, it's presented by Guillermo del Toro, and it was directed and co-written by Andre uh, Muschietti. Uh, I, I, if I mispronounce that, I do apologize greatly. Uh, now, we get the story of two feral girls who kind of went all, uh, you know, they're living out in the woods by themselves for like many years and they're finally discovered and brought back to live with their uncle okay but they brought something with them from the woods and it's in the form of mama this thing that only they appear to really can see and uh we see the events unfold as uh <laughs> as things get more and more creepy as these girls uh try to live out a normal life with their uncle and his girlfriend um wow let me tell you about this, you know, I don't know, um, Texas Chainsaw 3D really, you know, threw me for a loop, and I was like, oh great, is this where the horror film are going for this year, and then I saw Mama, and I was so impressed, uh, yes folks, this instilled my, my, uh, faith in horror films coming to the big screen. Now, we've seen some great uh, horror films in the festival circuit, but Schlollywood's really been producing some crap, okay? This isn't a Schlollywood film, though, though it's on the big screen. Uh, it's definitely more handled like an independent film. This ghost story, it's your old-fashioned ghost story, but it's handled in a classic manner. Uh, you don't get a lot of quick cuts you don't get a lot of jump cuts and things aren't presented to you so quickly that you figure things out within the last within the first five ten minutes of the movie i mean it is a well paced fantastically edited film i love the camera shots they did in this they do some long tracking shots to help build tension and that along with the soundtrack really helps build i mean it's showing you don't need a huge amount of effects to create a creepy, cool horror film, which is what Mama is. Now, you got Jessica Chastain in here, who was we loved her in Lawless, and she was fantastic in Zero Dark Thirty, and she's great in this as Annabelle, the girlfriend of the uncle who is tasked with helping raise these two feral girls and realizing that it's all there with them and you know her struggling because she didn't really sign up for this so loved her character and you felt for her and it really was a strong performance and then there was Nicolaj uh, Coster Owaldo who doesn't get a whole lot of screen time as the uncle but where he is he does a great performance there you got uh, Megan Carpentier and Isabel uh, Nelis who play the two girls Oh my lord, their performances were downright scary. In a good way scary. I mean, they were freaking creepy as the feral girls, and they make this transition thing, and wow, I mean, I love their performances. They really grabbed a couple of great young actresses perfect for this role, and they just, they have you going, I wouldn't want to live in the same house with these two girls. I mean, damn, forget the creepy spirit stuff happening. Just these two girls are freaking wow. So, I mean, their performances were so well done and authentic, and I really loved uh, seeing every moment they were on screen. They kind of stole the show a bit, even when they weren't saying much of anything. You, you know, you got some great performances in here, and it's a very strong female-themed horror film, okay? As you can probably guess from the title, which is a good thing. And you never get to see the really a lot of the spirit. It's kind of creepy grudge-like old uh, Korean or Japanese horror type that we've seen recently where you only see glimpses or pieces enough to creep the hell out of you uh, of the, the spirit or whatever, but you never get to see the full uh, spirit of it, uh, at least not right away. Uh, they really build up the tension in this film and I really like that part. Only part I didn't quite just quite get me was that um, it did get a little bit predictable at the end, but that's only because I've seen a lot of horror films. But the very last ending part of how things actually play out did surprise me that they went there. Uh, you know where where they went. Very very much a surprise. Uh, but parts of it were predictable near the end. But the very last ending part of it. Not so predictable, and I really liked that bit. Plus, with the writing, you have arc with your character, which, again, you're not getting a lot of lately from Schlollywood, but here, 
Anna, Jessica Chastain's Annabelle actually has development and an arc in here where she, you know, you don't see that a lot, a character growth. It's always the same character all the way through just getting chased or whatever. Here we actually have some growth in character, which was also refreshing to see. Folks, as you can guess, this film gets a high rating for me. Four and a half stubs, not quite five, only because of some of the predictability of it. And, you know, we have seen this thing, uh, this type of theme before, but the way it's presented, it's a refreshing change from the paranormal crap films that we've get into the big screen, and it's definitely worth your time to go see if you get a chance to. No 3D distraction here, just good old-fashioned scare you out of your seat fun. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets stopped.